Buster, I've got a small gift for you. Hey, gift! Wow, show me, show me! Hey, here it is. A brand new collar for you. Should I tie it around your neck? Yes, yes. Do it, please. I don't know. How can this be small? You always say that your collar measures five hand spans. I measured hand spans and got this. Look. Let me measure it. See, it is shorter. It's just four hand spans. Hello, Amber. Hello, Buster. How are you? And why are you too sad? Hello, Mr. Owl. Good to see you here. Amber got me this collar. But this is too small for me. Amber measured the size as five hand spans. When I measured, it is four hand spans. We are wondering, why is this happening? That is because the size of your hand spans and Amber's hand spans are different. Amber's hands are smaller than yours, so his hand span is also smaller. Oh, this means I can never buy a collar for Buster. No, Amber. We can use standard units of measurement. Amber, see, my hand is bigger than yours. This means that my hand span is bigger than yours. <laughs> yes. Now, when I say that I want a cloth three hand spans long, I'm talking about my hand span. If you get the cloth measuring your three hand spans, it will be much shorter. Am I right? Yes. So, it is important to use standard units like centimeters to measure. Centimeter is one of the basic units we use for measurement. We write centimeter as cm. Wait here. I will get a scale from my nest to show you. Look at this scale. Hey, I have a similar scale in my geometry box. This is the scale we mostly use at school. See, there are small and big lines on the scale. The small lines are millimeters and big lines indicate centimeters. One centimeter has 10 millimeters. We usually measure objects in centimeters as millimeters are too small. Wow! That means all these numbers are centimeters. Yes, Amber. That's true. The number written on scale are centimeters. If the last number written on scale is 15, it means that the scale is 15 centimeter long and you can measure objects up to 15 centimeter with that scale. Now, let's measure different objects using this scale. Yes! We will measure lengths of our palms, different fingers, feet, leaves and lots of other objects. Yippee! Good! Let me treat you to an ice cream. We will sit near the swimming pool and have ice creams. Hey Buster, see what is written here. It says 5M. Mr. Owl, what does this 5M mean? Meter is a unit used to measure longer distances. Meter are written in short as small m. This sign means that the length of the swimming pool 
is 5 meters. But why do we need another unit? We can use centimeters, can't we? Well, that is for ease. If a distance is 800 centimeters, measuring it with a centimeter scale becomes difficult and time consuming. That is why we use meter scale. Let me show you one. See, the markings on this measuring tape. Here, smaller markings are centimeters and bigger ones are meters. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. That means that 5 meters is equal to 500 centimeters. Oh, so it would have taken us a very long time to measure the length of the pool in centimeters. That means that 5 meters is equal to 500 centimeters. Good! So, now you know why we need bigger units. Let me now show you a unit bigger than meter. Come with me. Look at this. This is the length of the jogging track. <laughs> well, km means kilometer. Kilometer is the unit used to measure very long distances. Distances bigger than 1000 meters. Kilometers are written as km. One kilometer is equal to 1000 meters. Which means that 2 kilometer is 2000 meters. That's very long. Mr. Owl, is this the reason that distances between cities are written in kilometers? I have seen that while traveling with my parents. Yes, Buster. We use kilometers to indicate very big distances. So, now you know the three units of length. Centimeter, meter and kilometer. And we choose a unit depending on the distance we want to measure. Hey guys, I need to swim lots of meters and kilometers. So, let's quickly go over what we learned today. Centimeter is a unit used to measure short lengths. Meter is a unit used to measure longer lengths. Kilometer is a unit used to measure very long lengths.